Welcome everyone. This is TK Resales. I am TK. This is my channel all about my part-time journey as a reseller. So today we're going to try and hit three estate sales. We got going a little bit late today, but the first one's at a golf course. So uh, it's actually a really, really nice house and uh, we'll get some pictures of the golf course while we're checking it out. So it's kind of hot out. So let's head in there and see what we can find. So give me a few minutes and we'll check it out. Not too much at that little estate sale, but if you look ahead of me on the right, this is the water hazard hole. There's the flag right there. It's a nice hole. The guy walking off. Okay, stop number two, estate sale number two. Uh, not in a fancy neighborhood, just a regular plain old neighborhood. So hopefully we find a few things in here and let's get going. These are awesome. You can see they all come with certificate of authenticity. Wow, there's even more back there. We made it back safely to home and uh, it wasn't a great day for estate sales. I really only bought, I only bought one thing at the estate sale and uh, it was this Candace Jayhawks champion. 
2002 men's final four t-shirt cost me a buck but this stuff in my area sells really really well there you go size large and uh yeah that is the only thing i bought at two estate sales so estate sales is not so good i may be missing by a couple hours but i was close enough to a couple of thrift stores that i decided to stop in and uh, I think I did really well. So uh, let's get right into it and I'll show you what I got. So I'm just pulling them right out of a bag. I'm going to leave the price tag and everything on. So here is a Hanes Heavyweight. Nice little mullet hit, Malibu mullet hit, front and back. Alcohol right now sells really well and everybody likes Malibu. So yeah, grab that for a couple dollars. Next up, this awesome, awesome. Uh, Rock Eagle size large look at this thing. This is just a majestic shirt right there. Look at that Eagle It's double-sided both sides have the same thing Like that's awesome. Somebody's gonna love this shirt. The little river on the bottom is kind of uh, Sparkly like it's running water. So yeah, very cool. Love that shirt. Love it. Love it. Love it Next up. I just thought this was cool when I saw it heavy with Hanes heavyweight vintage tag uh, how about a T-Rex T-Rex named Sue it's from a museum uh, I forgot what sleeve it said it on maybe it doesn't say it on the sleeve it, I, was, I thought I read it was from a museum yeah yeah oh no T-Rex named Sue damn I must have been seeing things in there anyway nice vintage t-shirt of a T-Rex skull then I was checking out and I was getting ready to leave and I find this awesome shirt, another awesome shirt. Like, check this out. So let's go stargazing. We got a shirt that'll take care of it. Both sides. <clears throat> what is it? Liberty Graphics, Heavenly Bodies. Very cool, double side. This is the one with the sleeve hit. Uh, Lowell Observatory in Flagstaff, Arizona. Man, I got to get some better lighting. Yeah, so that was cool. And then the last thing I bought... Oh, no, never mind. I bought a lot more things. This was the most expensive thing that I bought. This is a my, uh, San Jose Sharks CCM. This is a... Uh, not not one they would wear in games. So, like, a, not quite a fake, but not a real one. There's a little tags on the back. Um, facsimile. It's a real jersey, just not the ones that they would wear in the games. So uh, I paid $16 for that, which, well, and I had a discount, so not quite $16. Bucks. And then all the next grouping of shirts and stuff I got for a dollar a piece. This very cool wolf, one eye, blacked out, whatever you want to call it, t shirt, size large. This one I just I thought was amazing and I couldn't put it back it's not anything great like tag wise it says US blanks it's a size small so it's probably a women's small it's you know nice little cool sweater except that it has Google on it in gray I paid a dollar for that so that'll that'll go for a few dollars next up this was also a dollar it's a medium it is a Mitchell Ness this is a reboot of a slam cover that uh, had Allen Iverson Slam was a basketball magazine back in the day. Nice little Ab Allen Iverson. I know somebody's gonna want that right away. And then just a nice little medium Bush Kevin Harvick NASCAR racing t-shirt. So that was the first thrift store that I stopped at. Next I'm gonna show you at the, the last thrift store stop. So. You know, even though the estate sales didn't work out, I was able to find stuff at other places. So let me get that set up and pet the cat and we'll go through what I found. All right, so we just got a couple items to go over at uh, the last stop at one of the thrift stores. Like I said earlier, the estate sales weren't really my thing. Uh, you, guys, you guys could see, check out the uh, thing. A lot of the stuff they had at the second one was up for auction and that auction wasn't gonna take place until August 1st. So bad news about that is I actually have to work on August 1st so the very first thing 
at the thrift, the last thrift store that I stopped at was this. This was uh, was just getting put out, so I grabbed it. It is a North Face. I believe it's a large. Yeah, women's large. Uh, one of those nice fleece, full zip up, uh, has gold. It's the gold, and then gold on the back. Uh, and I got this for four bucks. This is about a fifty dollar item. There's no, no rips, no stains, no holes. Just a little bit of fuzz on the cuffs. That's all. Easy to take care of. So next up, uh, I've been trying to find more and more of these, and this was the first one that I found. This is an LSU Center Swoosh Embroidered Nike Team. It's a small, but again, this was only four bucks. Uh, this is easily a $50, $60 shirt, uh, LSU again. It's probably even close to 100 with the Center Swoosh. All the Center Swoosh item stuff embroidered with the a, with a old tag is starting to go up in value. So happy I found that. Got a couple more things. This was two dollars and fifty cents, and I couldn't leave it. Muhammad Ali wrapping his hands, nice large. Somebody, somebody into sports will want that. Next up, I found this shirt, this jacket, and I had no idea what it is, but I thought it was cool. So I put it on my shoulder and walked around with it until I had time to look it up. So here is the tag. Nothing special, right? Just a nice yellow jacket. Well, the front has a black pyramid on it. And I had no idea what it was, so I turned it over. And it's got this crazy robot, We Want You MD. Now, I didn't know what it was, so we have a phone. And I looked up black pyramid and it came up as being a rapper's clothing. I think it said Chris Brown's clothing line. So again, this was four dollars. This was four bucks. This jacket was four dollars. Just the coolness of the Black Pyramid in this little graphic was good enough for me to buy it. But now being part of a rapper's clothing line, there is one of those jackets for sale on eBay right now in a size small for 200 bucks a different color but still for 200 bucks now for me the last piece was the best piece probably yeah the best piece of today and uh, I'm surprised that it was still there because three people while I was there walked right past it they they flipped right through it so here it is Check that out. Extra large fruity fruit of the loom. This is a Marilyn Monroe all over print t-shirt. Look at that. Marilyn all over. Extra large, very cool. This is probably a $200 shirt t-shirt. Maybe a little bit more depending on who's involved in it. But again, there's the tag, there's the shirt amazing so that is my thrift store haul I'm glad you guys came along today you got to see the outside of an estate you got to see the inside of an estate that's having an auction you got to see the golf course and then you got to see what I found I didn't want to take you inside to the thrift stores because it's kind of hard to hold my camera and do it at the same time but anyway I uh, hope you guys liked it. If you did, subscribe, like, share. And uh, that's all I have for you guys. As always, when I end these, I like to end them with a message of kindness and compassion. I'm challenging you to do something nice for a stranger. That's it. Just something nice. Hold the door open. Pick up garbage that they dropped. You know, help, them, help them load their groceries in the back of a car. Ask them if they need help. Tell somebody that they look great today. You know, just, just something nice for our fellow human being. Thank you for watching, guys, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.